Copyright Joe Hermit slash PenLife.com slash TNS Penn State. Commit Zion Tracy visits on September 10th, 2022. Zion Tracy had no idea the impression he made when he visited campus back in July. The newest addition to Penn State's 2023 recruiting class was in town for a prospect camp, looking to prove himself and earn a scholarship offer. At Hollywood Hall, the three-star cornerback was matched up against Penn State committed Johnny Shakir. The four-star receiver with offers from Florida State, Miami, and a bevy of Power 5 programs is known for his route running and ability to separate downfield. But Tracy locked him down and won all three reps when I was guarding him. I didn't even know who he was at first, Tracy said. But I didn't think anything of it. Then after the last rep, they were like, you know he's committed here, right? A week later, Penn State offered Tracy. And after taking in his first game at Beaver Stadium last Saturday, the 5'11", 180-pound corner verbally committed. Tracy is the 20th member and 6th defensive back to join Penn State's 2023 class. He's the least decorated of the group, according to 247 sports ratings. But that doesn't matter to Tracy. All that matters is that he achieved what he set out to do. Last fall, Tracy thought he was temple-bound. The under-the-radar prospect, then at Long Island Lutheran High School in New York, was previously committed to Rod Carey's program. Then, the Temple head coach was fired in December, prompting Tracy to reopen his recruitment before the early signing period. Tracy already had offers from Delaware, Rhode Island, Villanova, and Stony Brook. After decommitting from Temple, he also picked up offers from Delaware State and Bryant. But Tracy was hunting that big offer, one from a Power 5 Blue Blood. Tracy decided to take a calculated risk. He reclassified as a 2023 prospect and enrolled at St. Thomas More, a prep school in Connecticut. We told him that with the extra year, we felt we could help him get where he needs to be, St. Thomas More head coach Ernest Anderson said. He knew he was going to be developed properly. Here, he has a specific position coach, and he's able to play just one side of the ball. That helps with his development reclassifying was a pretty stressful decision, Tracy said but it was one he believed was necessary to get him on the radar of the type of schools he saw himself attending. PenLive readers can score $200 in free bets by creating a DraftKings account and betting just $5 on NFL and college football. Claim yours today, right right arrow here left arrow. In the spring, Tracy visited West Virginia, Boston College, and UConn. Temple's new staff re-offered him in March. In May and June, he picked up offers from Syracuse, Riggers, UConn, Marshall, and Buffalo. Then, he was invited to Penn State's July camp. The rest was history, Anderson said. Zion went and earned what they gave him. James Franklin and cornerbacks coach Terry Smith were impressed with Trass's performance, including those reps against Shakir. That earned him the offer that he wanted so badly, making his reclassification well worth it. Now, Tracy has a season to play at St. Thomas More. The Chancellors are 2-0 with games against traditional high school powers IMG Academy and St. Francis Academy, MD. Those will be showcase opportunities for Tracy before he signs with Penn State in December and enrolls in January. So, aside from someone willing to bet on himself, what are the Nittany Lions getting in Tracy? He's one of the most patient corners I've seen, Anderson said. His length allows him to be that shutdown guy. When we go and play the IMGs of the world, it's a luxury that we're able to throw Zion on the best receiver. He is an exceptional man corner. But he can also be his own guy because of his makeup speed. We're happy for him because he's a humble kid. He doesn't like to show off. He's a blue collar kid who's selfless. He's got the total package. I think he's going to have a bright future at Penn State Copyright 2022 Advanced Local Media LLC. Distributed by Tribune Content Agency, LLC.